Okay. So welcome to my session. Uh, this morning, we discussed uh, the elimination models, which is uh, module three. And uh, we saw types of elimination, that is types of lighting, uh, ambient diffusion, ambient light, diffusion light, specular light. We saw ambient light and uh, diffusion light. Uh, now we shall see the implementation of whatever we have discussed. Uh, thankfully, we have a lab program as well, which essentially discusses uh, how exactly we can blend all those lighting models. All right. So this is the program. Uh, just to give you some insights, this is uh, to draw a simple shaded scene consisting of a teapot on a table. Define suitably the position and the properties. All right. So this is the teapot function, table top, table leg, wall, light, display, all these, and uh, my unit and the main function. OK, let me, let, me, let me start with the main function. Before that, let me show the output first. So this is the, this is how it looks like. There are three walls, uh, one, two, three, and there is this table top, and a table top has four legs, table legs, and uh, there is one teapot. And mind you, teapot is, is coming from only one line, that is this line, solid teapot. So we will not code. Uh, we are not coding the beaker, we are not coding the notch, all the stuff. So the entire teapot just comes with one line called a solid teapot. So we shall see this line by line. Uh, this is the output. And uh, as per the morning's discussion, you can see here uh, there is much, I mean, the more uh, light is more here. Light is somewhat average in this wall. Light is a bit dim in this wall. And uh, there is this bright white color spots in this beaker, in this tea, in this teapot and all. This is uh, the concept of specularity, shininess. You can, you can see in the handle as well. Uh, you can see some shadow as well. So these are all various properties of lights. And uh, mind you, why are we doing this? If we don't take care about uh, lighting properties, we, you will get an artificial scene. This is uh, this says draw to draw a simple shaded scene, natural scene. So if you don't take care about the lighting properties, you will get the artificial image. So how do we get this kind of a natural image? We will see into this class. All right. So let us start from the main. So this is the initialization part. Someone wants to join the class. OK. This is the initialization part. Display, I will use only single buffering. There is no um, animation uh, no, required, so hence use single buffering. And since this is a 3D model, I require depth. Uh, this one is a 3D diagram. So that is the reason I'm using depth. Right. So my window size is fine, fine, right? Uh, remember, I am not using ortho 2D. Why am I not using ortho 2D? So why are we not using to join. Why are we not using ortho 2D? Because so we are drawing drawing 3D. So so we use ortho. All right. So we'll come to that in a in a bit. Now window position is zero zero. Create window. Teapot on a table. So this is what I get. Um, 
yeah, teapot on the table. This is 500 by 500 window. And uh, now, uh, now stop. Now comes this my init. It's a normal function. So go to my init, and uh, these are my things. So clear color 0, 0, 0, 0001 means it is RGB. Everything is zero. So it's a black uh, background color. So this since this involves 3D projection, that is this auto, we require, first we should project it, and whenever we change, we should show the changed object. What do you mean by that is, let us say, look here, this is very important. Now, the right now, the output is something like this. Yeah. Now, that means to say, where is the camera? Camera is somewhere here. It is projecting at, at this angle. Now, let me say, let me change this minus one to plus one. So now what happens is, you can see uh, camera is being projected somewhere else. My orthographic projection is somewhere else. Now let I let me give a nice overview. There is something called as look at. Mm, yeah, yeah. So instead of my, minus two, let me say plus two. Now you can see the difference. You will see the output, but in a different angle. That means the camera is here. The lighting property, camera, I mean, camera is here. That is why you are seeing this image. So instead of plus two, let us say this is original. And let me say this is minus now. So if you run, you will see an output in a totally different angle. So as and when you change your camera angles, you need to load your identity matrix, multiply it so that you can see the transformed image. That's the reason uh, we are writing all this. Means to say this projected and initial one and the final change. Now, what is this? You remember in all our programs, we used to write ortho 2D because we, our uh, aim was to show 2D image. Now, since our aim right now is to show 3D image, we should not do ortho 2D. We should use GM ortho. Now, ortho 2D has LRBT, whereas ortho has LRBT NF. Left, right, bottom, top, near, and far. So, left is this value, minus 1. This is, you know, you can change this and you can see the the difference, you know. Uh, I urge, I rather request you guys to, anyway, I have given the program, you execute this, change these values, subtly you understand the importance of these values. So, left is minus 1, you can change all these stuff. So, right is 1, left is minus 1, top is 1, near is minus 1, and far is 10. For example, you can change, let us say, far from 10 to 1 and observe uh, what really happens, you know. Let's say uh, this is what happens. So keep on changing your values until you get a realistic scene. So you play with these values. You don't stick up with only my values. So we are done with uh, my init. Now let us talk about blood display from of display. Now let us go to display. Yeah, OK. So in display, okay, let me show, yeah. In display, I have a float data type. These many variables, something like this. Teapot P, that is your teapot position. Table top position. Table leg P, table leg position. Wall P, wall position. And don't mug these values. These are the result of so many R&Ds done. Now, straight away, we didn't get minus points. Uh, point zero seven. I'll I'll let you know what what do you mean by these values in I think in five minutes. Now GL color, buffer bit and uh, depth bit. So this guy, this particular clear, just looks at clear color. So clear color is black. So this function only sets the color, as you know, 
and uh, this function this applies that set right. so yeah you have to clear the buffer bits as well once you do this color once you clear the color buffer bits since it's a 3d one whatever the z z buffer pixels are stored in the z axis you should clear that as well to show to see the, the realistic one now wherever the original image just load it and this one is my uh, look at function this is you can see camera viewing now this has nine parameters nine parameters now what are those you can hover your mouse here you can see here ix i y i z center x center y center z up x up y up z what do you mean by all this what you do is change this that means where exactly you can place your camera for example let us say this minus this positive pi i'll make it as minus minus pi you can now see that the camera is placed somewhere like this so that is your camera that is your camera viewing position so where exactly you have you have hung your camera so instead of now minus 0.5 you change this to minus 2 you will see that you have placed in second someone wants to join all right so yeah you will now see that the camera is placed here so this is what the look at function does you know uh, now uh, I, as I mean, after so many R and D, we have come out with these values so that the output, so that the camera is pointing at this angle, and we can see this. So that is the, your look at function. So camera, where exactly it is looking at, that is this look at function. So basically, it's a camera viewing viewing position. Now call this light function and mind you this is a uh, user defined function it's not a normal uh, inbuilt function there is this light so where is this light yeah here is the light now so as we discussed in the morning there are four lights ambience diffusion specularity and shininess ambient light again has four properties one is r g b alpha red green blue alpha now why do we require this is we will define a function called material float vector material float vector now this guy has three types now three arguments now what face we need to show for that face what is the ambient light and what is the ambient i mean i'll repeat material property what face we need to show what light we need to show and what is the intensity of that particular light so here i am showing the front face of of all these guys front face i, I you know you know in from my morning class i i mean for a realistic image I should have everything, ambience, diffusion, specular, shyness. So you should say front face, ambient light, the intensity of my ambient light. You remember we discussed IL is equal to KIL and I ambience is equal to KIL, I diffusion is equal to KD, IA, cos theta, all this. So those are here, yeah, matrix ambient. So these are my ambient light, that is white light, RGB, both are 111, I mean all three are 111, I'm using white light. Now, same material property. I am using for I am for the front face. Uh, I am defining diffusion light, and diffusion light's intensity is this. You can change it. You can change it and then observe the difference. Now, for the front face, define specularity. 
and specularity's intensity is this white color specularity white like it now for the front face i am highlighting shininess coefficient shininess value is mat shininess matrix of shininess that is your 50.0 floating point you can write this as 50 no problem now length of 50 see guys understand for 50 means somewhere it looks like this i want you guys to carefully note about concentrate on this specularity that is the shininess now what really happens if i change 50 to 5 so make a note this is how you will see the so more brightness that is more uh, bright bright lights so this is this may not look natural now what happens if i change 5 to 1 you can see still more shininess so this is the result uh, you know this is the result of these r and d's for example instead of 1 if you say 100 your your image may not look realistic you know this is is what happens mm, see this may not look realistic so do some r and d get those realistic values and we found after quite a lot of r and d's we found 50 looks a bit realistic all right now i believe that you are done with this and in my program Mm, one second. Yeah. I have explained every line. You can see here. Yeah. What do you mean by GL material? Specifies material properties for the lighting model. FV means floating point vector. GL material takes three arguments. First, is the face specifies whether gl front materials or back materials or you can write both gl front and back materials will be modified second one is here 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 second one is the parameter name which uh, which specifies which of several parameters in one or both sets will be modified third is your intensities Specifies that value or values will be assigned to the specified parameter. So if you look at my manual carefully, I have written notes for every possible line. All right. So what do you mean by this GL light? Okay, now comes this light position. Now light position is something like this. In the x-axis, I am taking two units y-axis six units z axis three and uh, this is my alpha parameter called this one now you can change these and observe the various uh, positions of your light sources now light intensity my red color i am taking as 70 percent green color 70 percent blue color 70 percent these when you combine these things uh, this is your alpha parameter when you combine this you will get some light intensity intensity means uh, for example tube light has 20 watts uh, 40 watts uh, you know your led bulb says this uh, 9 watt 5 watt and all. so what do you mean i mean what is the power of that so in english we say as in you know power watts in uh, graphics language we say as intensity now we should enable light property now I am. I can uh, in the morning class. I discussed. You can write GL light zero, GL light one, two, three, up to seven. What do you mean by this? Is your light sources, sunlight, tube light, torch, uh, whatnot? You know, you can mobile flashlight, whatever, whatever. What light source I use, and what is the position, and what is that diffusion? Is the you know to spread the equal. Uh, Mm, radiations to all the surfaces you can see gl light i have given some notes here gl light sets the values of individual light source parameters it takes three parameters light parameter name and tabs so light names the light and is a symbolic name of light wherein it ranges from zero 
to I think it is eight minus one seven. P name specifies one of the ten light source parameters again by symbolic name. P name is your diffusion ambience or whatever. Next one parameters is either a single value or a pointer to an array that contains the new one. This means to say light intensity is this one. So yeah, uh, moving on. I in my PDF I have given all the notes. So this this talks about all my lighting problems in my light function. All right. So we are done with light, adding light source to your project. Now call this function called teapot. And mind you, teapot, table top, table leg, all, all these are my functions. That means these are not user defined. These are the users, uh, these are not default functions, these are all user defined functions, similar to light. So light, we are done. Now we shall go to teapot. Now, teapot is my user defined function. I am passing three parameters. One is called as X, one is called as Y, one is called as Z. Now X axis is zero. Y axis is teapot P. Teapot position is minus 0 0.07 and zero. So essentially what I'll send, I'll be sending 0 comma minus point zero seven comma zero right now you can ask me why this x is zero and z is zero now before that what do you mean by this minus point seven that is this t part what do you mean by this minus point seven to explain you let me take as plus point zero seven now you run it you will see something like this. You can see there is a gap here, this distance. That is, if you can consider, this is your table top. Table top center position is, let us say, zero. And now what have we given? Table pot's position as 0 0.07 means from zero to positive means in this y-axis, that is the positive way. Uh, positive 0 0.07 means something like this. Now, to give you more perspective, make this as 0 0.7. So you will now understand T part would have gone up. So how exactly I can place this guy to the center? So you do some R&D, you will, you will now understand that it is this value if you give minus 0 0.07, the the teapot will be placed exactly at the center. Now on the contrary side, let us make it this as minus 0 0.7. We took it as 0 0.7 plus point plus 0.7 is this means it goes up. Now what happens if you now give me minus point seven? So you will see that the T pot has gone here. Right? So slowly bring it up. So make this as let us say instead of point seven, make it this as let us say point three, and you run the program, you will see that T pot has slightly come up. And uh, keep doing this. Minus one, let me say, it is now slightly come up and uh, slight I want, let us say, 0 0.07 and uh, this is how it looks finally. I believe you have got to know what you mean by this type called minus 0 0.07. Now, teapot position, that is your minus 0 0.7, you know. Now comes y x axis is 0, z axis is 0. This is absolutely my wish. Now, let me say this x axis as, let us say, point, let us say 1. Now, what happens is it will be moved away by one, one unit. You can see x axis is this way, y axis is the vertical way, z axis is this way, left hand or right hand. So you want to have this guy to be placed exactly at the center. That is your 0, 0, 0, 0. 
if you if you imagine 0 comma 0 comma 0 somewhere here okay let me make this as zero you understand so let me make uh, t pot also as zero that means this is essentially 0 comma 0 comma 0 you will now understand what do you mean by 0 comma 0 comma 0 so this is exactly 0 comma 0 comma so I don't want this guy to come here. That is X I will not define. Z also I will not define. Y also I could have skipped, but the point is there is this small you know gap here. So to avoid that gap, I have written as minus point uh, zero seven so that it looks uh, something like this. Alright. So now I believe now you understood why didn't I make uh, X and Z as zero, purposeful, because I don't want the teapot to move X axis way and Z axis way. All right. Now, now that we have understood these parameters, it is our job to go inside teapot function. So go to teapot function. Yeah, here it is. It is state takes three. Now, what have we passed? Actual parameters. We have passed. 0 comma minus 0 0.07 comma 0. This is what we have passed. So now this push matrix and pop matrix comes into picture. Now what do you mean by push matrix and pop matrix? So well, I'll explain why I this. Okay, please understand this. Are you, are you with me, guys? Can I can you start showing look at with all zeros? I will, I will, I will, I will show after this program. Are you are you with me? All right, all right, good, good, good. All right, now uh, let me show. Uh, first, I will show that zero comma zero that is look at zero 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 after this program. Don't worry. Uh, to explain you this that is. Uh, push matrix and pop matrix. Please understand this. All right. Now, this is one uh, you can consider in the kindergarten words as let, let me say as KG card bullshit. Now, first, first image that I would like to draw is let us say I will take one uh, pentagon. Let me say I'll draw a pentagon. Now, after this, I want to draw, uh, let us say, uh, an oval shape or whatever. Let me say something like this. And after this, let me say I want to draw a star, uh, something like this. Okay. What happened in this due course is, first I wrote, okay. first one I wrote uh, this, right? First one in the empty canvas, I wrote pentagon. And what happened now? What happened now? One second. Is careful. Be careful here. First thing is we had empty canvas. Second thing is we had empty canvas plus pentagon or we had empty canvas plus pentagon plus circle or oval fourth what we had MP plus pentagon plus oval plus this star shape. So finally, the customer is seeing this means all these would have would have been taken care of. So you know, to put it in graphics words, first you draw, first you have empty canvas. Okay. Next is you need to draw pentagon, right? So what you should do is empty canvas whatever the previous state or the current state you need to push the push this canvas to matrix so 
first job is push this canvas to matrix. Next, draw pentagon. Third, pop this, this scene. Number. Next one. For the oval shape, what you need to do, what is the current matrix now? So current current matrix is what is MP canvas plus what? Pentagon. Okay. Now for the second task, you should draw oval first. So Push the current matrix. That is what? That is that is what? This one. Current matrix is this. So push the current matrix. Okay. Then draw oval. Now pop. Pop the current matrix. So current matrix will now hold what? Current matrix is it is MP plus pentagon plus O. All right. Next one. To do this, to to write the star, what you do? So you should essentially essentially do this. So what push the current matrix that is MP plus polygon plus what is that oval. Next, next draw star and then pop the current matrix. So so which is what? It is MP plus or pentagon plus oval plus star. So ultimately, if you pop the current matrix, you will get the entire scene. You understood? So that is what this push and pop matrix does. So in my PDF, I have given some notes. You can see here. Yeah, here, here, here. Push matrix saves the current state. What is the textbooks or uh, OpenGL definition for that is something like this. You can see here. Push matrix is pushes the current matrix stack. There is a stack for matrices for each of the matrix modes in GL model view mode. The stack depth is 32. In other modes, it is two current matrix in any mode is a matrix on the top of the stack for that mode. Push matrix pushes the current matrix stack down by one, duplicating the current matrix. That is, after a push matrix call, the matrix on top of the stack is identical to the one below it. Pop matrix pops the mat current matrix stack, replacing the current matrix with one below to the stock to the stack. Initially, each of the stack contains one matrix and identity matrix. Now, these are all taken from. This is not my definition. These are all taken from OpenGL API, but the crux of this is this particular thing and uh, this one. I believe you have understood. Okay, uh, moving on. Now, I'll repeat. So in display function, we have seen all these and we have seen this look at. I'll come to this 0000, zero, zero, zero your doubt later. Now, we call the light function. So light is apparently these. Okay, light is done now. Okay, next is uh, teapot. I told, I have taught you what do you mean by zero? What do you mean by teapot? Called as minus 0 0.7, and what do you mean by zero? And now we are in teapot function. So we have passed these and the push matrix now saves the current state. In my paint, MS Paint works, saves the empty canvas. For that empty canvas, 
what i'll do is i will draw one solid teapot now blood solid teapot is one open gl by default function which takes the size of the teapot now instead of 0.1 if you give one and now see this is the size of that teapot so i don't want this big teapot i want somewhat lesser size teapot let me say it's 0.5 and you run it this is how it looks like and i don't want this much big so you can say something like this my interesting question is what happens if you write minus okay yeah this i was not knowing this so minus means the it will be inverted okay new thing for me all right so i believe you understood what do you mean by point 1 so point 1 is the small sized uh, teapot right. fine now okay now what is this translate now what happens if i don't do this you will understand something like this now it is from zero it has got translated to the initial position that is that is it is at the 0 comma 0 comma 0 now i need to translate from 0 comma 0 comma 0 to 0 comma point minus point 0.07 comma 0 so that is the reason you should write this translate now if you don't do this no matter what is your y value it will not be translated so the moment you you explain your values you should make the machine understand to translate to it so this is how you do it so teapot i'll brush up current save the current stuff draw the teapot before drawing you let me know where to be gone and what to be drawn and pop it so pop it it will now contain empty scene plus solid teapot so now okay this is important now the scene or you can write uh, now what it looks what it looks it looks what uh, mp or you can write it just looks teapot all right now so we are done with teapot that means teapot is done now let us do table top table top is again a function which takes again x y z x is 0 z is 0 that means i don't want my table top apparently what is table top table top is this guy this guy this guy these are my table legs these are my table top all right table top now, now i don't want this guy to move along with x axis and z axis i will nicely keep hanging via y axis now first question x and 0 y x and z axis 0 y because i don't want to move in x way and y way uh, let me give a demo make x as 1 and you will now see something like this so the table top guy has moved away a bit on the contrary i would like to know what happens if you write minus 1 so i believe it goes towards the left yeah correct it has gone towards left now i don't want left or right i want to be placed wherever it is that is 0 comma 0 comma 0 that is the original position so that it looks something like this all right now table top is table top p that is your position that is apparently your minus point 1 i mean you can write here directly no problem you can write here directly as uh, minus 0.15 directly no problem uh, the reason why am i holding this in a variable name is uh, your manager might ask you to change the vertical position so that every time let us say this is occurring in 10 times so every time you go to 10 times and change instead of that put it in a variable name and change it in change change it in one shot so that's the reason anyway so 
Okay. Table top position is minus 0.15. I believe you can correlate with minus 0 0.07. So minus 0 0.07 is something. And yeah, you can co correlate with minus 0.5. Now let me take this as plus 0.15. So this is how it looks. It goes positive. And uh, similarly, to take minus, it goes, uh, you know, downside. Yeah, this is the original position, and if you increase, that is a minus 0.3, uh, it will go downside. Yeah, I don't want this. So carefully, I will design such that it situates, it locates correctly, something like this. All right. Now that is your y. Sorry, sorry, here y. That is your minus 0.5 and zero. So again, you go to table top. Table top is here. X, Y, Z. So what are, what are you passing now? You are passing 0, comma, minus 0.15, comma, 0. Okay. Now, push matrix. Now, it pushes what? Now, current scene is what? Current output is what? If you are not understanding the word called scene, current output is what? It is already having pot. Now, translate to 0, comma, Translate to that particular position, whatever position we have defined, 0, comma, minus 0, minus 0, comma, 0. Now scale it. Now what happens if we don't do scaling? That means it looks very smaller. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, something like this. So you need to carefully scale as well. Scale again, x, y, z. Increment, decrement. I mean, change these values. You will understand the, those exact values. And again, I request you guys to not to mug these values. Just start from 0, 0, 0, 0, keep changing until you get the nice picture. Now comes this guy, solid cube. Now, well, what do you mean by uh, table top? See, guys, this, this table top is nothing but this guy called solid cube. Now, solid cube apparently has one parameter called size. Now let me say this, let me make this as one as uh, 10. You can see something like this, a thick uh, table top. So instead of one, let me say two, you will get a thicker one, or the, the size one, the size is quite bigger. So I don't want that bigger one. So I want uh, somewhat uh, a table top which suits my natural scene. So that is the size and pop matrix. Now tell me, so current current output will now look like current output is T pot plus table top. Yeah, this one. Table top. All right. Now I think we can increase our pace. All right. Next, we are done with T pot and table top. Now we'll go for table leg. Now, table leg, table leg position, table leg position is 0 0.2, 0 0.2, that is x axis is 0 0.2, y axis is minus 0 0.3, and z axis is table leg P. Now, table leg P is what? 0 0.2. Let me make this as uh, 0.5. That is, yeah, table leg position 0.5. You can see it has gone here. It has gone here. One leg here, one leg here, one leg here, and one leg here. Okay, if you are not seeing that, let me say 0.4. We'll see something like this. Yeah, here, 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 here. So if you can imagine this is 0 and this is 0.5. Where exactly I can place my legs? This is called, you know, your uh, your assembly part. I give you four legs. You need to carefully assemble it. So as a result of which, this point to do is what is what should be your values to carefully assemble it. All right. Now question is, for these guys, I've taken x and z as zero zero, and why? What is so special about table leg? What we will do is we'll make 
this guy also as zero and this also as zero just to follow this nomenclature so observe what happens you can see there is an error Hmm. Okay, yeah, I missed the bracket. All right. So now you observe it. Hmm. You can see the legs. Leg is starting at this is this one. This one. Okay. What I'll do is I'll comment out these three. You will see that this is that leg. So it is at zero comma what? Zero comma. Minus point three comma zero. So this is at zero comma minus point three comma zero. So what I should do now? I uh, should write. I should uh, move some x way, some z way as well. So that is the reason I am writing this table leg. That is point two point two. I am carefully assembling like this. You know this one, right? Minus point three y axis. That is placing. For example, if I take it as plus point three, can you now tell me where does or or is how does the output look like? That one leg will now go upper, right? You can see that one leg has gone upper. So I don't want that to happen. That is the reason I'm writing minus point. Now, if you even if you can understand one table leg function, the others you can just change the signs. This is plus plus. This is minus plus. This is minus minus. This is plus minus. So, what is this table leg? So, table leg. Copy paste the same table top position. Copy these lines. Put it here. Push matrix. Now, the current scene is what? Current output is what? This T dot plus. The last one, table top. Current output is that. Now translate to whatever we have sent. First table leg was table leg as point two comma minus point three comma point two. Table leg is point two apparently. So you are sending what plus point two comma minus result. Minus point three, minus point three comma minus sorry, plus point three, right? Yes. All right. So what you do now is, uh, mm, yeah, translate to that position, scale it a bit, and again, it's uh, nothing but a solid cube, solid cube. But you can where, where does the Where does it really matter in the scaling parameters? So this is this point six point six, and this is a bit smaller one. And pop matrix. So current output now looks what? A pot plus table top plus one table leg because you are calling only first table leg now. Similarly, call the second leg, third leg, fourth leg. You will get four, four legs. Now, what is left? Walls are left. Basically, how many walls we have? See, guys, what we have done. To recap, we are done with one teapot, table top. We are done. Four legs we are done. What is left out? Three walls. First wall, x-axis is zero, y zero, and only z one. Minus wall P. Wall P is your point five. And uh, I will play with only Z now. And understand, we are not creating three separate walls. What we will do is we will code one wall. We will rotate it and show that as second wall. And we will rotate again and we will show that as a third wall. So you understand now. So call the wall, draw the wall, rotate it, draw the second wall, again rotate it, draw the third. So we are not, you know, really drawing three walls. We are only writing the wall, 
and uh, we are showing the rotated wall. All right. So first of all, we will call passing zero zero minus wall P. Wall P is what point five. So we are calling uh, zero comma zero comma but minus wall P is currently point five. This is point five. So all this. Again, what is wall? It's again a solid uh, cube. So this is your parameter. All right, push matrix means this one. One, I mean all four legs now currently. So uh, current output is now I can write four legs. Two. All right. So translate it. Translate the wall correctly to 0, 0, minus 0.5, scale it a bit, and solid cube, and pop matrix, same, copy paste. So like this, you draw one wall, rotate it 90 degrees, x, y. You can see rotate function takes four parameters. One is angle, x, y, z. So 90 degrees you rotate, x, y. You will get, again, a wall, and draw that wall, and rotate that 90 degrees, y, y you will get the third wall and draw that third wall. Ultimately, flush it. So you are now done with display. Now this is not the end. You know our style. We will keep a breakpoint and then we have exactly six minutes. So we will, in the meantime, in the meantime, you please start putting your attendance. In the meantime, also please Notice here. Notice here. Notice here. Okay. Now, now comes the real understanding, guys. Don't leave the session, please. Don't leave the session. Now, the real discussion. You can you can mark the attendance later, later, please. I want everyone to concentrate here. Now, the real discussion comes, which I love. Which I love. Now, keep the flush for every guy, so that you will understand. So here, here. So yeah, after every wall, that means for every primitive, you show me the output. Right, right. All right, now what we will do is, we will keep, we keep will keep the breakpoint somewhere here. Right. Okay. Now, now comes the discussion. Okay. So debug it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So this is my window. You can see my right hand. I mean, this triangle is here. All my watches are ready. Okay. Now I will not press this uh, step into because if I press step into it will go to light function uh, which I have already taught you so it goes and does all this so what I'll do is I will do this next line next line is next line is F7 okay so now I'll press F7 please observe towards your left screen that is your output forget about watches and one watches the right hand side you observe this right angle triangle i mean this what is this a triangle uh, uh, i can say the, the control okay now i'll press f7 so triangle went there now again i'll press f7 so my, my lighting stuff would have been arranged all right now now comes teapot so one f flush i'll get one nice teapot you can see here so one tabletop one f flush you'll get a nice tabletop Table leg. I request you guys to keep seeing both both the windows. So table leg. One leg, flush it. Got it. Second leg, leg flush it. I got it. Third one, flush it. Fourth, flush it. All right. Next is P walls. First leg. Yeah, this guy. 
second one anyway you have rotated in your previous step draw that this one third one draw this guy so this is how you will get piece by piece and uh, the left out portion is this led display funk of display these two enable to lighting that is it is like display i mean turning on your uh, something like this you have your turning on your uh, what is that you have this mcb connection right, in your homes okay so turning on that mcb now this is something like you are turning on your uh, turning on your tube light once the power is on once the tube light is on you will get all those and of course you should define what is i mean the surface smooth or rough or whatever and then these two for your mathematics for normalization function you remember today's class uh, we showed this yeah this one this normal perpendicular line all those so to enable that and to enable the depth test and then it, it, it appears to the main loop now coming to the one of your guys doubt right make everything as uh, zero 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 all right so the last piece for the discussion so what i'll do is I mean, you can you can do in your home as well. No, no big deal. So let me make this a zero zero. All all a zero zero. Sorry. Hmm. The building is done. So run it. So you will see an empty image. That means it is similar to your turning off your camera. Something like this. All right. So I believe you understood this. This was one of the students doubt and carefully observe this. So this completes um, implementation of the lighting model. Uh, guys, have you really understood? Shall I get a yes or no? Have you really understood? Did you understand? Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. So mark your attendance and uh, any. Uh, I'll up upload this to my YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, and you can drop your comments there itself. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, like our videos if you have really understood. So thank you very much. I will close this meeting window uh, once you mark your attendance. I'll give you some couple of minutes time. Uh, mark your attendance and then leave the meeting. Thank you very much for attending the session. Thank you.
Thank you. 